Uh, you're here with Unsigned Radio Lounge, uh, DJ Taylor May, and today we're going to be with Gio and Chad, and they're going to talk a little bit about them being as an unsigned artist and some of their music. So I wanted them to introduce themselves right now. Hey, I'm Giovanni Gilakaev. And I'm Chad Evans. Where are you guys from? I, you know, I hear, keep hearing different things. Gypsies this, yeah. and I'm from here and there. Tell us a little bit about where you're from and how you got over in the music. Got it. Well, I'm from Russia, Moscow, and uh, the reason I got here it's because our my whole family is uh, entertainers, dynasty. We're gypsies, you know. We have a lot of musical background, and you know what place to go big. You know what better place to go big than LA? You know, it's hard. If you make it here, you can make it anywhere in the inter entertainment industry. So that's my reason. Yeah, and I'm originally from Pennsylvania, from like northeastern, middle of nowhere, Pennsylvania. Yeah. But somehow I made it out here, managed to drive the four days some and, and what why what was the motivation? Um, like music stuff, the weather. I mean it's more like liberal here, so it's chill, relaxed. Tell us a little bit what like instrument do you play? Are you guys DJs? Do you guys compose, producers? What do you guys do? I've been doing music since two thousand three. I composed music uh, since two thousand five. I play guitar, keyboards, and bass, um, having experience with uh, a few artists, a few DJs, like DJ Mike One, I used to do gigs with him. Um, also, I performed in like uh, Glendale Theater, play, made like gypsy music there as well on guitar. Um, as for beats, I compose for Pete G, he's signed with uh, Cashes and Kobe. They're, um, what's it called, signed with Slim Shady, which is Eminem. Okay. Yeah, Slim Shady LP or something like that. And that's what I do when it comes to rap music. I make beats. Okay, make yeah. beats. I've just been singing for a long time, like, ever since I can remember, just singing along to the radio, writing music, and kind of get my words on paper and express myself to people. Have you been experimenting with it? Um, yeah, I'm trying to get into new stuff, like trying to see where the future of music is going to go. And I like this book, The Brave New World. It talks about like future everything. So I'm trying to think like what's going to be the next big thing and how are people going to use music to their advantage. Hip hop, pop, are you more synthesizer or? You... Well, everything on synthesizer, I do drums. I'll show you an example later. I could do drums, bass, everything, melodies. It just comes out of my head because I don't know notes or chords. I'm like, I'm kind of self-taught. So if I know a little bit of chords or notes, I go on YouTube and like try to learn it from visually from it's there. Way, yeah. You know, and um, so yeah, I make everything except country because I never really tried country. We've done everything, yeah. just back and forth and back and forth and trying to figure out what's best for us. But you guys collab on tracks then? Yeah, like he collaborates on songwriting and so my music, he does it. Like freestyle, he just out of nowhere comes up with words and it fits the song. That's our connection in the music. So yeah. you know, like we'll just randomly like come up with stuff. Like okay, start playing, start singing, and then we look at the final product. Product and it's like we didn't even. Yeah, yeah it's didn't like, even really. Yeah. We just went and did it. And yeah, it sounded good. good to go. No yeah. editing needed. Yeah. <laughs> what, what is one of the biggest struggles as an unsigned artist that you guys deal with with your music? The hardest thing is to find the right people at the right right time. Well, right now it's good because, you know, unfortunately I meet you guys, you know, you guys are legit, so it's good. And um, But the struggle is definitely finding the right people, also getting a gig, also um, like collaborating with the right artists, you know, there are a lot of issues with that. Um, also, you know, with the... Uh, distance like LA has a big distance you have to drive there you have to drive there it's like a lot of a lot of drama a lot of emotions but it's all worth it if um, you know the collaboration is good the music is good and you know if you find the right people you know yeah I'd say the biggest thing is like <laughs> equipment like finding recording equipment I think everything else is okay it's fine but 
to get so, yeah. just get the, get the right it. sound to be able to compete as an independent, correct? Yeah. yeah, for sure. But we're getting closer, which is which is cool with Pro Tools and the smaller systems. Yeah, cool.